Hey, how are you doing? It's Al here from Looking for Warriors. I want to tell you a quick little story. I was looking at Ad Astra and Astra Nova. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Ad Astra and Astra Nova. Ad Astra means to the stars. It's Elon Musk's school. And as you may know, Elon Musk takes a slightly different approach to a lot of businesses he runs. Now, Elon Musk's school is only for Elon Musk employees in his plant. I'm pretty sure it's a Tesla plant. So that's great for him and great for his employees, but not so good for everyone else in the world. So let's talk about the philosophy around this school. Now, he said the big thing, the really big thing is, and this is one of the most important things about school. This is one of the most important things about school. Why are you doing it? Why are you here? Why are you doing this? What's the motivation? If you talk to an actor, they're going to say, well, what's my motivation around here? What, what am I, what is my character's motivation? And what we should be thinking about with kids is what's the motivation? Are we telling them why they're doing this? So I talked about quadratic equations before. Now I learned the formula for quadratic equations, how to do them really well. And I forgot them six months later. There is a ability of the brain, really important ability. This is really important for evolution. It's really, really important. So your brain looks at information because there's so much information out there. In fact, you have a critical faculty in your brain that discards 90% of information that comes to you. Because we have like, we're bombarded with information all of the time, constantly bombarded with information. If I walk into a room and I see someone else from a different background walks in the room, we're going to see, notice different things and see different things. Even someone exactly the same background, my brother could walk into the same room and be noticing different things than what I'm noticing. Be and we could walk out of the room, we both of us could hear a lecture and have a completely different experience. Andy DeMello, Andy DeMello used to say that if he was giving a sermon, he was a Jesuit priest and he used to do a lot of retreats and he used to say if he did a sermon to a hundred people he was actually giving a hundred sermons because every single person would take that sermon differently every single person so our brains discard information now one of the and they have to do that. You, your brain can't deal with all the information that's coming into it. So it's a really, really important part of your brain that discards the information that's not important. So your brain's trying to work out what's important here, what's good for my, generally it's saying what's good for my survival. But what's important here? What can really help me in the future here? And what's a waste of my time that I have to discard? The brain's doing that constantly. And it needs to be able to do that. Now, one of the criteria uses is what's important information, what's useful information, what's not. So if you're given information and you're not told why you're learning it or why it's useful to you in the future, or even for now, more importantly for now, why it's important right now, your brain is going to discard that information. That's why you're getting all these facts and information in school. And six months later, you can't remember any of it. Like I forgot my quadratic equations, how to do them. Because they weren't useful, I've never used them once. What's the point? Now, since I've learned it's something to do with bridges and keeping bridges up, which is very, very important, believe me. I want my bridges, if I'm driving across a bridge, I want the bridge to stay up. But it wasn't useful or important to me, and I wasn't told why it was important, which is, this is the crux. So at Astro School, the Ad Astro School and the Astro Nova schools the first thing to do is say, why is this important? So instead of saying you've got to learn A, B, C, D, quadratic equations, blah, 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 whatever it is, algebra, they don't say that. They say, we're going to put an engine, they say, we're going to put an engine together. And in order to put this engine together, we need to know these things to help us put this engine together. That's what's important. If you give a kid a hammer and just say, well, this is how the hammer works, you go down and back up, go down and back up, just practice that all day. 
kid is going to be seriously bored, seriously bored. But if you say to the kid, hey, we're going to put a, we're going to create a little car for you, like a little wooden car, and it's going to work. You're going to be able to sit and go down the road, but I need you to help me put it together. And we're going to use these tools, a hammer, and we're going to use a screwdriver. We have these screws. The kid goes, yeah, yeah, I want, I want to learn how to use this hammer because it's useful in creating this thing that I want to create. So that's the Ad Astra and Ad Nova school. They start with why we're doing this. What problem are we trying to solve? Not repetitively. Now, sometimes repetitively going through drills is important. And there's certain age groups that it's useful for them to go through drills, you know, learning tables, learning writing, learning letters, bells, consonants. What are adverbs, verbs? nouns blah 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 and to certain age groups that's useful to do that and obviously if you want to be a great footballer you have got to go through drills so you have a muscle memory so when someone's coming towards you and you have the ball you have a muscle memory how to get around it you don't have to think so drills are important sometimes but it's important to start with the end of mind what are we trying to achieve here we're trying to put a go-kart together we're trying to build an engine we're trying to fabricate this thing and we need these these tools and formulas can be tools or programming or we're trying to program we're trying to make, make a game we're trying to create a game for your iphone and we need to put these things together in order to make the game it starts with that and that's really really important really important what it all says there's no exams there's no exams and this was the best thing for me this is the best thing for me he said that we don't put p kids in groups of ages. So we don't separate them by groups of ages. We separate them by interest. So we're doing this and any kid of any age can come in and, and work on this with us. Or we're doing this other thing. We're making a go-kart over here. We're making an engine over here. We're fabricating this thing over here. And whoever's interested in that can come in and we can all work on it together. Or we're doing programming over here. We're making games over here. And you just come in and do it. If that's what you're into. And that is, for me, that is wow mind blown that's exactly what school should be and it should also be some of the older kids have learned some stuff teach the younger kids too i don't think he mentioned that but that should be part of it and i'm listening to all this and going elon that's amazing elon you're a genius elon that's amazing for you and all, all the people who work for you it's brilliant what about the rest of rest of us what about the rest of the world what do we what what do we have and as I thought about this, as I thought about this, I'm like, that's great, but you know, I don't live in America, I don't work for Elon Musk. I can't put my kids into that school. But what he's saying is very clever and it's true. But what we need to create, and what I'm gonna work on creating is the open source version. The open source version. So we have the whole open source version available. And I'm just putting it down here in this video in order to make myself do it. So there's a marker that I have to work towards. The open source version. So you can go online and you can open source was with code, with programming code. So you could download code, you could edit the code and change it to suit your specific situation. And everyone's situation is different. But there's certainly a platform that we can build that everyone can start from and build a unique situation on top of that platform. And this could be for dads to download, for kids to download. Maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're 16 and 17, you haven't done well in exams and you don't know what to do. So maybe this is a nice little blueprint for you to download and start working towards. So I love, I love Ad Astra, Astra Nova, Elon Musk's schools he created. You need to be an employee of Ski Elon Musk to get anywhere near it. But this is the way school should be. This is the way school should be. And let's face it, we have the internet now. The open source education is the way school is going to be from now on. From now on, it's going to be open source education. Let's face facts here. And the exams are not going to be as important anymore. So we're creating this. I'm, I'm creating the 
open source version of Elon Musk School, which is just really around building up your skill stack in specific areas, building out projects, projects that you can show people. Whatever you want to be, if you want to be a programmer, if you want to be a whatever it is, programmer, designer, you want to be a engineer, whatever it happens to be, you're going to build the open source version of that for everybody. So you can download it, you can follow the step-by-step -step direction and move yourself the direction you need to go. And also, most importantly, put it all on YouTube or put your create your website or put your examples up so people can download them. So people can see that you do actually have the skills and they can feel and trust now that you can do the job that they want you to do. So thank you, Elon Musk. Thank you, Elon Musk. I don't know anything about your school except for a couple of words from YouTube. But what I've heard, I think you're absolutely right. I think you're dead right. I just got to start with the end of mind. It's got to start with a place where we start with the project we want to build and then bring the tools on instead of just learning the tools with no focus on what the end result is. This has been Alan here from Look For Warriors, done by Ad Astra and Astra Nova, Elon Musk schools. Now, what I want you to do, do me a favor, I want you to hit the subscribe button. Really, really helps me out. Hit that like too.